Hi everyone, it's Fizzle Jules here, and today I have a tutorial for all you guys who have hard polymer clay uh, and you don't know what to do with it or you don't know how to work with it. So what I have here is Female Sculpey and Craft Smart, and just a little uh, quick tip of what um, those polymer clays are. Uh, Sculpey and Craft Smart are both oil based, so um, and Femo uh, is different. Uh, Femo. Uh, on the other hand, is more mineral based. Fimo uh, is very different from Sculpey because the ingredients aren't really listed, but Sculpey and Fimo are very uh, different from each other, although they are both polymer clays. So, first thing I'm going to do is show you how to resoften Sculpey and Craftsmart if you need to. And I like to use Vaseline for this, but you can also use vegetable shortening, um, cooking oil or olive oil or anything that's uh, really has a lot of oil like baby oil. So those two polymer clays work well uh, when reconditioning and re uh, making them softer uh, with oil based products. First, take a sheet of plastic wrap. That's what I like to use. Um, you don't have to use plastic wrap, but it's just something I like to do in the beginning because it gets really messy and it can stain your hands really bad depending on what kind of colors you work on. But uh, take your hard polymer clay, just crumple the polymer clay you have or cut it into very small pieces. Uh, it has to be kind of small. Next step is to take your Vaseline. I'm just going to use a toothpick to take out the Vaseline with. And depending on how much uh, polymer clay you have, you can either use a lot or you can use a little. Um, it's better to use a little at a time because if you put in too much, uh, you cannot work with the clay anymore, it will be too soft or too sticky to work with, so just put a dollop in the middle there. And then uh, what you're going to do is to fold up the sides of the plastic wrap and then start uh, kneading it with your fingers. Or you can even use a rolling pin, I just like using my uh, hands in doing this. You can see it was really uh, tough and hard because it was really crumbly and stuff. And that was because it was really dry. As you can see here, um, it's gotten a lot smoother, a lot softer. And you can see it's more evened out. I'm going to take it out. I'm going to be working with my hands now. Uh, you don't have to, uh, you can just keep it in the plastic wrap. But in order to really um, work with it, like really uh, get the Vaseline or the oils that you choose uh, to get in there, you should use your hands when working with it. You can make sure that everything is kneaded thoroughly. That's what that looks like now. And I'm just going to knead it for as long as it takes uh, to get a smoother consistency. So now you see um, I rolled it up into a ball and look how smooth that is. Like look how uh, easy it is to work with. Like at first it was like a block of unworkable clay that just shattered when I touched it and now it's all good. So that's what that looks like. It just looks like normal polymer clay now. Comparing it to at first, that's what it looked like. It was like a block. You couldn't really work with it. And look at the results you get after you work in your oil with it. So now for Fimo. Now Fimo, uh, you have to use a different approach uh, when it's really hard like that. You use water. Put down the uh, piece of plastic wrap. I'll take the Fimo clay. That's really hard to work with. and Make them into chunks, just like that. So now that you have them into chunks, like that, take your spitzer bottle. Uh, I don't know why, I like using my spitzer bottle. I use like um, one, or, uh, one or two, or maybe three spritzes, but it really depends on how much. Remember, you want to start a uh, little because it's a lot harder, uh, it takes longer time to take out the moisture once you put it in. I'm gonna spray some in, just a little bit. And again, I'm going to fold up the corners. So as you can see here, it's all crumbly and stuff, and I'm, now I'm going to work with it. Just kneading it as much as I need to. So that's what this looks like now. And it's a lot softer than at first because of the added water. It starts to absorb it, and then um, it starts getting a lot softer to work with. I'm going to take it out of his packaging just like before, and I'm going to work with it on my hand. It's really sticky. As you mix it, um, 
The female will get a lot more even in consistency. Uh, the texture is perfectly even and now I'm going to use the polymer clay uh, that I just softened to take off the residue that's on my hands just like you see here. So I'm just going to press down and pull away. So now this is what this female clay looks like and it was really hard at first. I couldn't really work with it. Here's an example right there. I tried to condition that but it's really hard too. So that's what it used to be and um, you can see uh, there's a comparison. This is the, uh, there's female and there's Sculpey and here uh, are the before and after um, balls that I made and remember you can use CraftSmart with the Sculpey uh, tutorial I showed you how to soften it with. So um, remember female is different because female uh, takes in water not oil. So I really hoped you liked this tutorial and I hope it was really helpful to you. Uh, so don't go out and buy those expensive softeners, okay? Okay. So again, I hope you like this quick money-saving tutorial. And if you have any questions, comments, or even requests, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Have fun crafting and thanks for watching. Bye!